the adaptive learning piece has really changed the preparation time because we're doing this adaptive learning where the students will take a reading quiz and it's based on the content of the chapter and it's a series of exercises related to the reading and I can tell immediately if they're getting it or if they're not getting it and I can see how many hints do they need how many steps does it take them to go through how much time is it taking them to go through and so I know before Monday's class how well they're figuring out the reading and then I'll know how much time I have to spend reviewing that basic information or if they've mastered it, if they've shown they got this stuff, Monday we can just dig in and start talking about applications. We can start taking that material and seeing what it allows us to say about the world. So the adaptive learning pieces really changed what I do outside the classroom. The interactive things I'm doing in class have changed the class totally. I mean now we spend half the time working in small groups and we have this wonderful space that you can see behind me with the whiteboard tables and I'm assisted by eight very able learning assistants and so half the time the students are working in small groups they're wandering around from table to table to table um, answering questions and the students are working on problems and so they're learning as they go, they're practicing as they go, the class is much more interactive and so the whole way we do class has changed. But it's also changed what I do outside of class because I'm wandering around watching what the students are doing and I'm learning the things they're struggling with. Oh, they, they don't know how to convert electron volts to joules. Well, I'm going to have to spend some time thinking about that. And so I can figure out the different pieces that they need to help them better master the material as I'm going because the class is much more interactive. There's so much more dialogue between the instructor and the students. I had some concerns before I started this process. Um, one concern is I, I was worried about the relationship between the instructor and the stu student. Will that change? The other concern I had was about the time, how much time it's going to take me to do this. And it turns out the relationship between the instructor and the student I needn't have worried is closer than ever. I'm wandering the room, I'm talking with the students, I'm untethered from the podium. And so I'm getting to know the students personally much more than I ever had before. So I have a closer relationship with the class than previously. And the fact that the burden of the teaching is shared with some learning assistants frees me up to kind of like do more of the big picture stuff which I've always wanted to. So we have a much better relationship with the class than I have in the past. The time, I am spending more time, one, because of preparation, two, because of problem sessions with students. This is one of my group problem sessions and it's in the same room where I teach. Students get so used to working in small groups, working with the learning assistants, that they wanted to keep the magic going. They wanted us to just, instead of having an office hour, to have this problem session. They're working in small groups in the ta at the tables and we're finding there's a, so much demand for this additional work outside of class that I'm having to spend more time kind of like taking care of students. On the other hand, they're learning the material. So in terms of like time I'm spending, it's increased. In terms of like mastery achieved per unit time that I'm spending, it's actually more efficient. My time is extremely well used in class and these extra sessions and out of class. So I'm getting much better results. It is taking me a bit more time. So that was a legitimate concern. In future semesters, it'll be easier because I'm going to figure out how things work and I'll be able to uh, share a lot more of the burden, particularly the extra problem sessions with the learning assistants. And so I think it'll become a little bit easier in future years. The big difference I've noticed in student engagement is this. The students are dramatically more engaged. Here's an example, and I've pointed to this before. Here's the problem session. I've got 100 students who will show up on a Wednesday night to work on homework. I've been doing my problem sessions in a classroom for a while. The high watermark used to be 30. Now I'm getting 100. So I've more than tripled the number of students who show up for the extra problem sessions. They're way more engaged. They're handing in their homework at greater rates. They're coming to class in greater numbers. They're participating more fully in lab. They're participating more fully in the recitation. They're coming to the extra sessions. The students are engaged like I've never seen them before. And they're having success that is commensurate with that engagement. They're really learning the material. My exam scores have been improved. My homework scores are improved. My lab scores are up. My recitation scores are up. So students are more engaged and they're doing better. Um, so if those are our two measures of, su of success, is student engagement and student success, it's a win. 
Initially, I was met with some skepticism. It took a while before the students got bought into this way of doing the instruction. But now, we're midway through the second semester, and at this point, the students who are here, they appreciate this style of instruction. They're enjoying it. But it took a while. It took a while for them to warm up to this. Um, now, they like it. They can't imagine doing it any other way. So it was initially a little bit of head scratching, like, you want us to, like, do what? But now they're loving it. They're loving the whiteboard tables. They're sketching out the problems big on the tables. They're working in groups. They're making friends. The groups will continue even after we finish for the evening. They'll occupy the room until 9 o'clock tonight working on problems. And so now they get it. Now they've bought in. Next steps for me as an instructor are first off, when the year is done and I have a chance to kind of sit back and breathe, is to kind of look at how everything went down. I've changed my content focus a little bit to kind of adjust to what the students were comfortable with and which things they were having more trouble with, which was a wonderful surprise to me. I've been teaching this material for a long time and I discovered there were concepts that I thought students understood, they really didn't. And others I thought they were struggling with and they really weren't. I'm going to share three things that the experience has taught me. First off, um, the learning assistants are amazing and I was worried a little bit about how they would do. I went a little bit non-traditional on the learning assistants. I've picked students who recently had the course. They are not physics experts. But it turns out that's worked out well because these are students who have been in the very position that the students who are taking the class are very recently. They're near peers and they're really, really good at being able to connect with students and say, ah, I struggled with that too. Here's the piece you need to know. They know just what information to provide and when to provide it and they can empathize in a way that is very real. Um, and, and so the learning assistants have been fantastic. They've been absolutely fantastic. That's one thing I would say. Another thing is I would say I was very, very worried um, just at this stage in my career, um, like trying something different. I've been doing this for a long time and I'm very comfortable with the way I do things. And I was a little worried about shaking it up. I've been teaching this course for 17 years. Do I really want to try something different? Yes. It was a great choice. It's really re-energized me. I'm approaching the class with a lot more enthusiasm now because I know what the students are, are up to and I have a much closer relationship with them. And I've got a posse. I get this team of learning assistants who is helping me out every day. So I'm not in here by myself. I'm in here as part of a, a team. And as a team, we're making some great strides. The other thing I'll say is that I've been really grateful for the support of TILT throughout this. And we as a university are fortunate to have an outfit that encourages us to make these changes, helps us make these changes, and kind of like we have the institutional support to make it possible. I couldn't do this just anywhere, and I feel very lucky to be here at Colorado State University to have access to facilities like this and for the people who help me figure out how to implement the changes that I want to make. So thank you, TILT.